Hello friends, welcome back to All and Law. This is quick OBGYN and in this video we're going to talk the quick management the quick management of severe preeclampsia. In a previous video we talked about management of mild preeclampsia and in this video we're going to talk briefly about the management of severe preeclampsia. What's a severe preeclampsia? It's nothing but remember the pregnancy more than 20 weeks of gestation okay more than 20 weeks of gestation right sustained hypertension more than 140 or 90 or it's also called sustained more than what you call more than 160 by 110 right and the proteinuria is really very more compared to the mild in a mild we had only 3 milli 300 milligram on 24 hours of urine collection and in this severe preeclampsia we're gonna get more than 5 gram per 24 hours of urine collection and not only this there is also evidence of some maternal jeopardy that's symptoms of headache, epigastric pain, and what you call visual changes, right? Thrombocytopenia, okay? Less than, that is a platelet count less than 100,000, elevated liver enzymes, pulmonary edema, oliguria, cyanosis, okay? remember so let's talk about the quickly about the management okay so remember the management aggressive prompt delivery is indicated for severe preeclampsia at any gestational age okay remember right right aggressive prompt delivery is really very important and one of the things you should do is add administer IV intravenous MGSO4 to prevent what convulsions remember okay convulsions remember okay right give 5 gram loading dose then continue maintenance infusion and for USML examination no need to remember or no need to memorize the dose okay even for USML step 3 also remember and lower the BP to diastolic values between 90 and 100 okay you should not immediately lower the blood pressure that's very important okay should lower slowly okay with what with the true drugs remember hydrolazine because they are safe in the pregnancy and labetalol and which is the other drug that can be used in the pregnancy is methyl dopa remember okay labetalol and hydrolazine right and attempt what you call if you want to do vaginal delivery okay if what you call if the mother and the fetus are stable then do vaginal delivery with oxytocin right guys oxytocin okay right now let's talk about the conservative management when you want to do the conservative management Okay, the conservative inpatient management, okay, if there is what you call, if there is a no maternal or fetal jeopardy with gestational age of 26 to 34 weeks, okay, and the blood pressure can be brought below 160 over 110, remember, okay, and what you have to do, you have to do this in the intensive care unit, remember right and of course you should give what you call mgso force to prevent convulsions Rem remember okay and if the patient if the gestational age is less than 34 weeks administer the steroid known as beta metazone to the mother to enhance the lung maturity fetal lung maturity right so this is the management of quick management of severe preeclampsia right guys aggressive prompt delivery is indicated if there is any jeopardy to the mother and the fetus 
right? You can give what you call IV magnesium sulfate MgSO4 to prevent the conversions, lower the BP, but very slowly lower the BP, not immediately, okay? With hydrolyzine and labetalol. And if the mother and the baby are stable and the, what you call they are above the 34 weeks, then you can go ahead with the vaginal delivery, right? And the conservative management is if the patient and what you call the fetus and the mother is uh, stable, you can uh, monitor them by lowering the BP, giving MGSO4, beta methazone in the ICU intensive care unit, right guys? Because they can develop the convulsions at any time, that's why you should not send them to the home, right? So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.